I know be OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome my love. Um, this is the gold family. We drop only God, gold and God, gold and gold, GG content in this group. Um, and if you are retaining GG, goldy God, goldy, goldy girl, thank you so much for coming back guys. Today I have the most goldest of all golds content. I'm not even lying. As you can see by the title of this video, it's about working in America and the best part over everything else is the fact that there are swazes that are already working in America. I'm not talking about he, she, say, uh, go to the sleek and try it. Nope. On this one, I'm talking about someone who is swazi that is already teaching me. Of course, I'm not excluding any of my other um, people that are on this channel. I'm not excluding you. This is inclusive for everyone. It's just that I got someone who specifically does in Eswatini as well, which I am very excited for because as you know, on the previous videos that I've been posting, um, I was giving you guys agents and I was struggling to find a Swazi citizen that has accessed those agents through you know the who has like first-hand experience and now on this one i have not just one not two but I have so many people that are in the united states of america as i am sitting here talking to you guys sorry about my location i'm still tr struggling to find a good spot to you know be consistent in but i will not let my current location stop me from giving you guys this content because I could be here, but you could be on your plane to America. You understand? And my priority right now is not me. It is you. It is you. And if you love... Anyways, if you want to know more, if you are trying to find opportunities to better yourself, opportunities to, you know, find employment, if 2024 is the year that you want to be the boss babe that you've always wanted to be, please consider subscribing. Please consider joining the GG family. We are golden gold content, golden god content in between. Anyways, without wasting any more time, guys, let me tell you about caregiving. Caregiving, guys. Number one. Okay, let's start by what is caregiving. Caregiving is giving care to someone. So it's basically taking care of older people. Uh, if you've seen most of the American movies, they have old age homes where someone who's now older and not able to maybe um, use a phone and stuff like that, they, they need someone to take care of them. And when you are a caregiver, you are that babe. Yeah. So what you do with this type of job is that you find that some people, like especially older people as they grow old, they struggle to write, they struggle to read, they struggle to, you know, use phones, um, all those things that sometimes they struggle with, and then you are that person who assists them. So, for example, the old uh, lady, amazing lady, would want to write letters to her daughter or son who's living somewhere else. So then you assist them with that, like writing the letter. She says what she wants to say, then maybe you are typing or you are writing. You are just that person who is supporting that person in that situation that she's in. So it's, yeah, something, that's my compressed version of it. But obviously, as you know, always go and research more. Just find the ultimate definition that you will understand better. And guys, I, I was sure. Do you need a qualification for this? No, no qualification is needed for this. So, I love jobs that are inclusive, I love jobs that are taking anyone and everyone. So, let's get down to the process of applying. So, there's an agency that I'll share with you guys if you already. Uh, on my whatsapp group please indicate i've already shared the link before but i'll i'll send the link again on the whatsapp group if you are not on the whatsapp group please text me on whatsapp okay um i'll share my number 
at the end so that you guys can stick okay but before we get to that guys let's get down to what are the requirements number one like we said you don't need to have any qualifications but you will need money because at the end of the day you are moving from one country to another and it's just not within a country it's continental so you are moving from an african continent to an american continent in the American. let's call it that i know there's asia europe and america there has to be america let's just stick with that so you will have to incur some cost on the whole journey and i'm here to break down the cost that will that you will have to incur and the amount of money that you have to use the amount of money you will need the step-by-step -step processes that you will have to go through and also the icing on the cake the person that helps you the ladies are already sending voice notes one lady was saying she's been working in america for three months now do you understand she said three february she'll be turning her third month and she's already working working And she said there was no point in the journey where she felt confused, lost, alone, because the agent is holding you from step one until step America. Do you understand? Step one, which is the what thing, where you are now from this video. This is your step one. So after this video, make sure you go to the link Make sure you text me on WhatsApp and join the WhatsApp group and then I'll forward you to the other WhatsApp group where there's like the big group. And then what do you need guys? Let's talk about this. So obviously, as we've mentioned, it's moving to a whole new continent and you will need money. And I will not lie to you guys, it's actually a, it's a, it's a reasonable amount of money. Okay? So number one, for this agent, you have to pay a certain application fee. So I love that the application fee is split into two. So the ultimate application process is 5,000 rand, 5,000 emalangin. But when you, at first you pay a commitment fee of 2,500, which is half of that. So when you pay 2,500 rands, that's when you start the process. They remove you from the general group and then they send you to the VIP. That's where now the work begins. They start asking you, do you have an international passport? If yes, all good. If no, they help you get an international passport. So if you don't have an international passport, that's another cost that you will have to then incur international passport. And then from there, you move to step number two. I, let me get my book because I wrote all the steps here and I don't even want to forget. Not even one, 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 one. So after your international passport, then now you are moving on to a visa application, okay? So in order to move to the United States of America, you need to have a visa to work and stay there. So fortunately, we have the U.S. Embassy in Eswatini, which is available at Gables. When you go into Gables, it's there. So the United Embassy, that's where you apply for the visa process. But guess what? You don't have to go there and find out information of which visa because the agent will tell you and also you will have support from the other ladies that are already in the states so the agent will tell you now like now we are here and is where we are now what do we need to do do you understand so from there you get to your visa application before you get to the visa application he, the agent will share the, op the options that you have what visa options are available how do they differ what are the options of those visas what do they offer and how much are those visas but then the uh roundabout cost of a visa application is 3700 emalangin or rent so it's around 3700 emalangin okay so you will have to pay 3700 emalangin for the visa and then when your visa application has been um approved right you then have to pay the remaining amount for the agents, agent. So at first we, did, we said it was 2.5 and then now the remaining amount is 2.5. So then you have to pay 2,500, the remainder, right? 
And then from there, because you are done paying your amount and you have your visa now sorted, you are a, a girl who is ready to leave and go to the United States of America. So now, obviously, the next step will be getting a plane or a flight ticket to America. And that flight ticket is also incurred by you. So you have to pay the flight ticket. So you will have different agencies, in fact, something like flight staff to see how much it costs. America, guys, it's far. I've never been there, but I do think it's far. It's, you know, I think it's far. And because it's far, the cost of going there is not going to be cheap, which means the flight ticket. But I do want to advise you guys on one thing. If you are booking your flight tickets or your airplane tickets, make sure you are aware of, because most flights, they stop somewhere. So most flights that I use, I've used uh, Emirates, I've used Emirates so far and I love it because you have one stop so you move from Johannesburg to uh, Dubai that's where you get your day over so you move from JHB Johannesburg to Dubai and then when you get to Dubai you don't need a visa to be in Dubai so it's not another additional cost and then from there you they'll change you to another flight that will now take you from Dubai guess to where the States exactly so when you get to the states when you get to the states now you have to do a training when you arrive there so when you arrive there there's a certain training that you have to do it's called HAD training i think it's caregiving training so they train you on how to talk to the people like the people that you'll be working with how to handle how, they just train you basic training and it's two weeks it's a two weeks training and within the two, two weeks, two days before, or pattern of two weeks, two days before the two weeks is over, you have to write a test. It's called the HAD test. So with the training, guys, it doesn't come cheap. You also have to pay for the training. So what is the cost of the training? Training fee is 770 US dollars which I then converted to a Malangani just to give you guys an idea. So that is somewhere around 14,600 Malangani for the training. Okay? Don't freak out. Don't. Wait until you, 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 you get to the point of how much you'll be making. In fact, let me give you a snippet. So when you, ask, when you start working, they provide your accommodation. And, which means you, you're not paying for rent. But then you will be getting 150 minimum is 150 us dollars per day do you know 150 us dollars is 2831 per day anyways we'll get there we'll get there at the end let's continue so now you've done your training you've paid your 14,600, and then after you are done with the training you have to write the test two days before you finish so when you go write your HAD test, the HAD test is also a different because it qualifies you to work. Then you have to pay a different amount for that exam, right? So you have to write an exam and there's a di different amount for that exam. And that exam will cost you 200 US dollars. The exam will cost you 200, 200 US dollars, which is 3,780. I'll try to put the prices here. I'll try my best to put the prices so you guys can have an idea. So it's going to cost you 3,780, the exam. Guys, make sure for this exam, there's a maswat that I've already written, they are working now, which means it's not difficult. You will be able to pass. Make sure you pass this exam because it gives you the certificate, which says that now you can start training, you can start working. But before you work, you have to also take a TP test. We know as people get older, the system, their system gets weak. So they get infected easily, especially with tuberculosis. So you have to get tested for TB, which I would advise for you to just get tested before you even leave so that you see if you will not be going there and you get tested for TB positive. Make sure you test for that. But if you know you've never had TB and you don't really feel like you have TB, it's fine. You will have to get tested for TB as well in the States. 
and that is also another cost that you'll have to pay you will do that tb test there and it's going to cost you 100 117 us dollars which is 2210 emalangin okay i know it sounds a lot of money it sounds like so much money so much. don't go wait until i want to do the math for you so that you can see that all these numbers that i'm calculating for you at the end when you're working I want to show you in, like how many months it's going to take you to pay back all this money if someone lends you this money so stick around and then after you've done your tp test and you are done with that now you are ready to work and then to work you need to pay a placement fee so there's an agent that works with placing you guys to the different locations for example i use i'll use the snats again snats for teachers corporation so they are the ones that will then come and talk to you and then they'll tell you, okay, we have a caregiver here, here, here. And then they'll explain, okay, this caregiving home, the patients that are there um, have this, this um, let, let, let us say this problem, it's not problem, they have this, not disabilities, but they have this special things that they need assistance in. Maybe it's dementia so when they forget and then they need you to constantly remind them or it's where they want you to help them use their phones or it's when they can't walk properly then they need you to help them walk it's it's a different you hear that it's a different walk <laughs> anyways so it's that different locations that they help you understand which one is then you can then choose which one works for you which one you want and it's also nice because there is a home facility where you get to go at 9 a.m. and leave at 5 p.m. So it's a 9 to 5 job, right? But then the weird part with that one is that you would have to get your own accommodation. Yet with this placement from the agencies, if you are, stay, if you are working through this home caregiving, they provide accommodation. Like you, it's a home stay. So you stay there with the, the people it's accommodation is provided within the facility so you don't have to stress yourself about where you are going to stay blah 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 no and the money that you'll be getting will not be going to rent but if you get to go to the home facility where you just go for a nine uh, nine to five job like um you have your own apartment then you would have to have your own apartment and pay for that rent right and i would not advise that when you are still arriving wait until you've you are well settled in and then you feel like okay now i have the money which i promise you it's not going to take long there's numbers that i was calculating it's not going to take you long then that's when you can say okay now i want my own space i'll just move to a different facility it's also available and the guy was also saying that there are people that moved to do caregiving and then now they are applying for a permanent residence so now they are permanent residents of the United States of America. And what will, what will stop you from doing that? Because the, it's all about getting there first, making the money, and then deciding where you want to go next. Anyways, let's continue. So after that, after your TB screening, you will also need a bus and an ID. So most of the like moving around, like commute, commuting is through buses and stuff like that. So you need a bus and an ID, ID which states, it's okay, you guys have been staying in the United States of America. So that will cost you 50 US dollars, which is 132 MLA. Okay? Okay? So now you are done with all of the cost. And guys, please make sure, please get this, this one quickly. All of this cost, there's only two co two fees that you will pay to the agent that is from SYD. Only two. That's the first in first installment commitment fee, which is two point five, and then the other two point five. All these other amounts, like placement fee, you will pay when you are already in the United States of America. Bus and ID, you will pay when you are already there. TP scans, you will pay at the hospital accommodation guys oh i forgot you also have to pay for accommodation accommodation is 400 
US dollars, I remember this, 450 US dollars and it's for two weeks. That's when we are still doing the training. After the training, then you get accommodation from the care uh, facility that you'll be working from. So for the two weeks that you'll be still doing the training, you have to pay for the accommodation. It's 450 US dollars, which is 8,500. Don't be dismayed. I know it sounds like a, 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 numbers are just flying. 4.5, 8.5, Wow. I know, I know it sounds a lot, but trust me, it is not a lot when you now look at the amount of money that you'll be getting when you are working, okay? And then as I've said, all of these amounts, except for the 5,000, the 5,000 you'll pay to the agent that you will be in their group and he will have a SWAS number. He's from a SWAT and he will help you all the steps of the way he will help you that's the one you will pay five thousand two but in two different states two point five two point five then the all other amounts that i've been saying you don't have to pay to anyone else except for the location for example accommodation you will pay when you arrive in the states right and where you will be staying that's where you will pay the training fee you will pay at the washington you be, hey but you'll be staying at washington to see yeah, Washington, Seattle. I, I'm confused you know, because now I don't know Washington, guys. I'm just, you know, saying now over man, it's Buncha and Washington. You guys will be telling me that, hey, Washington, Washington, this, and I'm like, wow. Okay. So, honestly, back to seriousness. So, you will not be paying anyone else except those, the, the actual organizations. So, if there's someone who's now saying in your inbox, okay, now send 300. For, nope. You are not sending any 300 to anyone. You will only be communicating with the agent whose name is Mr. Shop, who will then help you to move all the steps and everything else. And you will only pay him 2.5 and then again 2.5 only. If he starts saying, oh, okay, now you have to pay, come back to me and say, guys, you said we were only supposed to pay 5,000. Yes, I'm even saying it again. You will only pay him 5,000 and then the other things will be and he will also say you he will also tell her he will also say you ha, ha. he'll also tell you that you only have to pay pay five thousand in two stages okay now let's get down to the basic parts like the nice parts the amazing part how much are you going to be making guys i was shocked i was shook so here working as a caregiver where you are not even paying for accommodation you will be paid 150 us dollars Pay day? That is 2831. Okay, so it's not like everyone's going to be paid 150 US dollars. So the minimum payment, the minimum payment, that's if like you are not doing your job well, the, the minimum payment that they'll pay you is 150 US dollars. And the maximum maximum amount of money they'll pay you what is this huh? 250 US dollars per day 250 you know US dollars per day 250 US dollars per day is 4781 in per day Okay, let's let's do the maths. Now this is the interesting part. Let's do the maths. So you get let's use the bare minimum. Bare minimum you get one hundred and forty hundred and fifty US dollars per month. Per day. Per day. Per day. So 150 US dollars per day, which is um 2831. And then let's say you work five days a week. Your weekends are yours, you choose not to work on weekends because you want to risk, right? So you work five days a week and in that in that week you will make fourteen thousand one hundred and fifty-five in a week. Okay? In a week you will make fourteen thousand one hundred and fifty-five. And I'm not saying guys, I'm not talking about here. This is not a case. These are people that are working and they are earning this money. Emma Swat Swazes that left last year, September, now in uh, they left for October, September. So now in February, they will be telling their three months working day, and they are earning this money. And then on a monthly basis, right? 
monthly basis if your basic pay is 1500 your monthly salary will be 56620 56620 56620 for caregiving mosona fana ethi so lunga la separamende ke mm mhlon pay mhlon pay anyways anyways let's go down to if now you are earning 250 US dollars per day which was 4,800 and something. So in a week, if you work five days and you earn 250,000, 250 US dollars, you will earn 23,950 in a week. 23,950 in a week, if you are earning 250 US dollars and you do no qualifications needed. And it's not even a scam. It's real people that are working there that you will get access to on the group. Do you know what? Don't overthink this. Don't think of how it may go wrong. Don't think how, where will I get the money? Now I'm thinking, where will you guys get the money? Which is going to be, now I need to sit down and think how best can I give you guys ideas on how to finance this? Because honestly, looking at this, this thing that I'm looking at now, you guys can actually be able to finance and help each other if you are in a team of 10 contributing however amount you are contributing and trusting each other because guys do you know what don't do this thing of now wanting to be the only one who has succeeded it, being in a foreign country gets lonely sometimes you need people that you'll be able to understand and speak the same level or same language at some point which is why i always encourage you guys to not don't be stingy about this information you've heard about this information share this information to other people it needs no qualification you know that lady my your neighbor right that would really 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 benefit from this but then you will hide it from her because you want to be the only one that's known to have money in the community don't do that do not do that and if you want to be that person i don't know i i, I don't know i i can't but anyways you could be earning fifty six thousand per month yeah, yeah. no that's the 150 but if you are earning 250 us dollars per day and then you earn 23,590 per week, a month you will earn 94,360. I know, shocked. I'm shocked as well. And I'm even more shocked because there are people that are actually earning this money. I know now it sounds like, ah, ah. there are people that are earning this money. And not just people that, you know, uh, Pure swazis, which is why also wherever you are from, Botswana, Swatini, Lesotho, blah blah blah, it's fine. You are welcome to the group because this will also work for, will work for you. Join my group. Join my WhatsApp group. I that's why I share most of the information before I even come to YouTube. Some of the information are so quick, I just share it on the group. Which is why, please, I hope you have subscribed. Please consider subscribing because it's the best way to get updates when I share a video. So if you have subscribed and then you send a notification, you click on the notification bell, it will tell you once I have another video up, which will be soon again, another gold content for you to elevate 2024, okay? So guys, I, I hope this video was really helpful. And I know, yes, it was helpful at the same time. Now there's that a big elephant in the room as to how am I going to get this money? And you know, it's never actually a video without a bit of a word, an encouragement word. So today, I have 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. It says, my strength works best in your weakness. That is not me saying, that is God saying. He says, his strength works best in your weakness. So now you are here sitting and thinking, how am I going to get this money? But guess what? His strength, wait, there's another one. Ephesians 3 verse 20. It says, him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all it means there are no boundaries to what god can do which is exactly what is going to happen for you on this one as well i'm not saying you must go sit down and pray 
only. You must also think because it says that he blesses the work of our hands, which means now we have to work and see how we are going to get to this money, guys. Because I will put the figure as to how much the whole amount, like a rough estimate as to how much you will need to have. And don't be in a rush, guys. Just because you didn't live in January, you didn't live in March. I, I'll do another video where we are planning our year into four segments. Already, unfortunately, we didn't plan for the first quarter, which is January to March. But at least we've got some ideas as to what we can we can try and implement. Cruise ship, au pair, caregiving. And then now we are going to plan on how we can divide our year so that by the time, maybe if you set a goal with I'm leaving in August or I'm leaving in September, how will you get to September with all the money? What do you need to have to do? What do you need to do now in order to get to September with that amount you need to move to the States, okay? So, again, for those that still don't have my number, let me share it again once more. My number is plus 268-7822-4785. Text me on WhatsApp, ask me to add you to the group, I'll add you to the group, and then I'll also share a link to the ultimate group where you will get the information about exactly this one. But on my group, we share everything from open opportunities abroad, teaching English abroad. And if you haven't seen, please go back and check the other videos because I have teaching English abroad opportunities. I have cruise ship job opportunities. So if you don't want to live for a long time, um, then you might be good for uh, cruise ship jobs. And I also have open. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you consider um, staying in this family, clicking that subscribe button and also don't want to send as much comments and questions as you have in the comment section. If you are shy, go send it on my WhatsApp, ask me as much questions as you want and then I'll make sure to answer you, help you and get you to the United States of America. Okay, I love you all and I hope to see you all again in another video and that is soon. Love you and goodbye.